Right. Um, my name's John Stout. I teach computing A-level at KGB Sixth Form College in Southport. So we're just a little bit further south than this Preston place that Alan's been talking about. I'm hoping to get there next week. Oh, great. Okay. Um, my great enthusiasm is BYOB, which is a, uh, uh, an extension of Scratch. Uh, what you're seeing on the screen at the moment is the small, well, strictly speaking, it's the squeak or small talk code behind Scratch uh, and BYOB. Um, I'm presuming that most of us have heard of small talk and we know about its influence and so on. Can I just suggest that if you've got anyone or you are really interested in a really big program and you want to see what it looks like and how it's built. L looking at this behind of Scratch stroke BYOB is a brilliant way to do it. It has, uh, th this sort of code, this thing that's running for these sorts of displays is probably 30 years old. And to be honest, I don't think there's anything that we've got recently that's as easy to use to just browse through the code. Um, wrong mouse. Um, this is a, basically, this is a series of changes I've made to the system. I can just see what classes I've changed. For each class, I can see what method I've changed. And this is the bit of code I've changed down at the bottom. If I want to see who, what does show basic blocks does, I can just uh, look who implements it. So I can come up here and I can click on one of these and I can see the code. And you can browse this code. You know, you don't have to use different editors, you're using exactly the same thing. So I think this is a really fantastic way. If you've got someone who's really interested in looking at a really big program, seeing how it's put together, this is a great way of doing it. Okay, so, yes. Uh, you, what you need to do, uh, if you've got Scratch, you need to start Scratch with the word D-E-V in the command line. Oh, I yeah, or if you've got a batch file. If you look, download BYOB, they have a uh, BYOB development. And then you do the magic bit of holding the shift key down when you press the edit key, and you'll see a marvelous little menu, uh, sorry, you won't see a marvelous little menu, hang on a minute. Press the shift key down when you click on edit, then you see this thing called fill screen. And fill screen, in effect, that's just scratch BYOB. But if I do this shift key down, press edit, let go of the shift key, turn the fill screen off, then I get behind to the scratch system, sorry, the squeak stroke small talk system that's running behind it. Okay, so um, this, this research sort of stems from um, the chap uh, was some work done by a chap in Sardinia um, at a university, well, what my Italian translation translates as a university. Um, and what he's doing is he's using Scratch to, uh, sorry, using BYOB to introduce uh, people to programming. And he's chosen a really, I think, quite interesting way to do it. What he's done, um, he's, he's written mini C++, and this is C++ code, but it's written in BYOB. One of the powers of BYOB is that it can treat blocks of code as objects, as things that we can assign to variables. So he can write for loops in BYOB, plonk bits of code in the middle, and write the code to handle the for loop. So he's got this. Um, so this is, this is mini, his mini C++. Um, you wouldn't want to run anything production-wise on this. The, the phrase that quite often gets used is treacle in December. But I can give you a brief introduction to show how it works. Green flag up here just initializes the environment. Double click on this. Starts to run the code. It's asking me how many numbers I want to do. I'm going to sort three numbers because otherwise we'll be here for too long. First number is 34. Second number is uh, 11. Um, let's have minus one. 
okay? And it's now going to run this code. Uh, I've hit a debug, but I can just continue from that. It's, whoops, sorry. It's sorting the numbers. Every time it prints an asterisk up there, it's gone through one of the, the loops. So we've done two loops. Come on, come on. Come on, you can do it. Okay, uh, yes, it's slow, <laughs> but just put yourself into the position of someone who's writing their first thing of C++. Okay, uh, they've had this tussle with the squiggly brackets and the round brackets, and why do I need round brackets after an if, and do I put a semicolon here, and so on like this. And in the time that this takes to run, because we're just dragging and dropping blocks, you can't produce, well, you probably can, but it's difficult to try. You probably can't have a syntax error with mini C++ because you're dragging blocks. Blocks will only connect to other blocks. Okay, um, so that's that. Um, I have a pathological hatred of C++. So I thought, well, okay, what about VB? So here we have mini VB. Same sort of idea. We've built these blocks. Um, so for example, up here I have, uh, oh, I've moved screen. Oh, there we go. Whoops, that wasn't a nice guy. There. Um, we've got, um, some of these variables are, some of these things are the, the basic blocks that are built into Scratch. Here I've got a dim, so I can dim myself an integer. Give it, whoops. Let's um, go through the debug. Just type in the name. Sorry, this is difficult. Type in the name. Oh, this is the dimension an array of integers. Type in how many integers I want. It models it using a list. Um, but I think it, what, what it does is it teaches the students that in programming, there's a lot of blocks that you plug together, and then there are bits that you fill in. So for example, on a, when I declare some variables, the dim something as something is just filling in two empty blocks. And this metaphor that Scratch uses and BYOB carries on of having these empty blocks that we fill in, they're templates. Um, they're a bit like text templates that we have in Visual Studio, these sort of things, but they're a lot more immediate, I think. You're just dragging and dropping. Okay, um, that, that's basically it. Um, this, the, the mini VB one is a work in progress. I can see using it for the students who have terrible difficulty with the syntax, terrible difficulty with the, the, um, the typing. They'll be able to drag and drop blocks and produce something that looks, looks like VB code. If we can put this together with my, I've done some file handling extensions for uh, BYOB, then I don't see why we shouldn't have a right click on this thing and get it to write a text file which they can then import into Visual Studio. And yes, the code will run incredibly slowly, but you know, the, the, the time the code takes to run is minimal compared to how long it takes the students to write it. So that's my lot. Okay.